So today we're going to try to save the life of this old C64. And as you can see, it looks like an alien has attached itself to the motherboard. This is actually uh, an old repair from the previous owner. And the previous owner tried to replace the character ROM and some other ROMs on the other side, the chips. By doing this, he broke some traces, he told me. So we're going to try to do this in another way and uh, see if we can get this old machine up and running again. So this will be a very long repair, at least for me. And a black screen repair of the C64 is uh, often viewed as the most difficult repair you can do on these old machines. So, buckle up! So the first thing we have to do here is to replace the broken traces and uh, I'm just using this very thin copper wire and uh, a pair of tweezers and uh, you know you go from the starting point to the end point and you replace all the broken traces. I prefer to do this uh, from the top because when you put the sockets on um, in place and uh, put the chips in this is not going to be visible so it's going to look clean and um, you know nobody's going to see this unless they loosen the chips and uh, th these kind of repairs can be a bit um, you know hard because um, you have to be very careful and um, it's, it's going to be a bit time consuming uh, I don't like to do them but uh, I mean we have we said we're going to repair this computer so we we got to keep pushing until we get something on the screen these are the ROM chips, so you have the kernel ROM, you have the basic ROM, and you have the character ROM. And they need to work, obviously, otherwise the machine won't boot. So we need to fix these broken traces. And the previous owner just tried to do it from underneath, as you saw. 
I, maybe he succeeded. I don't know. Uh, I just get, got a black screen, so um, we're going to do this very carefully, and um, I'm going to speed things up here a bit because this is going to take some hours. But basically, uh, thin copper wire, pair of tweezers, and some glue. So finally we have a blue screen and that's very good in the Commodore 64 world. It's not like the Windows world, this is actually good. It means that we are on the right way and maybe we will make this machine great again. <laughs> so as you can see we have this flickering text. Um, this is probably because the color RAM is bad or the trace between some pin on the color RAM and the CPU. So we have to figure this out. I'm going to run some um, tests now because I have this um, uh, diagnostic uh, program for the C64. To use this fully and uh, I mean to get all the tests working you need a special harness to connect to the different uh, user port and uh, what you what have you. Uh, I don't have that harness but it, it will kind of give us an indication if something's wrong with the color RAM and you can see it's uh, actually saying bad address so something's definitely wrong there now it's going to say that other chips are also bad this doesn't mean anything because we we are not using the harness as I said before now this is <laughs> really messed up this is supposed to be a, a nice looking test image so we have to continue and um, try to pinpoint this error. This could actually take some time. I also loaded the I, I Carry Warriors or Curry Warriors game and um, as you can see something is definitely wrong so let's continue.
So I finally found the last two broken traces, broken connections on the motherboard and I fixed it temporarily because I'm very tired and I don't want to spend more time with this machine today. Now you can see it's a very happy machine. I'm happy, the C64 is happy, it's blue, the text is steady, it's not, not flickering anymore. And um, this is the revision of the motherboard. It's a Commodore 64 from 1983. So it's, uh, it's an old lady or old guy if you want. Um, it's always nice to, when you succeed in repairing these black screen machines because you really have to apply all the knowledge that you have gathered through the years and uh, to get a good result like this. It's very nice. And you save the machine and a bit of history from the trash can. There are two chips that get very hot. It's usually the PLA and the SID. So I try to save them from some of that uh, wear and tear. As you can see, I put some cooling on them. And, uh, oh, I, I'm missing the fuse. Oh, no, no problems, I'll fix another one. And the machine is missing its label. So I'm going to order a silver label from eBay, even though this is not a silver label machine. Now, if you want to know what a silver label is, you have to wait to the end of the video. And if you want to know the history of the silver label, you have to Google or use YouTube because I'm too tired to explain it right now. I'm going to try to uh, load the same game again, Ikari Warriors or Ikari Warriors. I don't know the, how to pronounce it. Um, in Sweden, we say I carry warriors, I think. And uh, if it runs perfectly, I'm sure the machine is, uh, is okay. And uh, we did a good job anyway, because everything looks stable. And uh, the power LED is working, as you can see. Very important, the power LED, you know. And now the moment that we all been waiting for. Will she work? Oh yeah. No flickering. You might see some flickering. I'm not talking about these color bars that come when you load the game. I'm talking about some kind of, you know, if you look at the guys here, you can see, yeah, this flickering. This is because the refresh rate of the CRT monitor is not in sync with the camera. I don't see these things in real life. I see this kind of flickering because this is normal. But um, you know what I mean. You've heard it before, I'm sure. And uh, this C64 seems to be all right again. Yeah. Play high score or train a game. High uh, trainer. Unlimited lives. Yeah. Go nuts. Everything. And now the plane will crash and we will see some palm trees. And um, with this nice uh, screen, I'm going to um, say goodbye for this time and I want to thank you very much for looking at this episode of Unboxing the Universe. I promise to continue to um, publish more episodes like this. If you subscribe, if you like, and if you push the little bell. <laughs>